Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well and fine. Let's start our class with the learning objective to identify and name a variety of plants and animals in their habitat. Last class, we all have created a mind map with habitat and we have recalled Mrs. Gren abbreviation. Now, let us look into different habitats. Plants and animals can't make big changes to their habitats like human can. They rely on the environment around them to provide them with everything they need. Because different places have different conditions, the plants and animals that do live there are different too. This means they have to live somewhere that has the right condition to help them stay alive and well. We are going to look at some common British habitats. Urban habitats are areas with lots of building for people to live and work in. Some of the living things in urban habitats are here because people have put them there. These include trees, hedges and plants in park and gardens and our pets. There are also many living things that grow wild in urban habitats. These plants and animals have found ways to survive alongside all people that live nearby. Flowering plants such as nettles, daisies, dandelions and buttercups grow in parks, gardens and hedges. They even grow in abandoned buildings and throw cracks in, through cracks in concrete. Many insects, slugs and snails live among the plants. So these are the plants and animals. Those live in urban, urban habitats. You can list all the animals and plants in urban habitats in your book. Let's read about some of the animals that live in urban habitat. Animals such as squirrels and garden, garden birds get their food from the trees and hedges that grow in cities. Other animals like foxes, pigeons and rats are able to live in cities because they get most of their food from the ways that people leave behind. These are some of the examples of animals and plants those live in urban habitat. Thank you.